And hello, we're going to continue on this tutorial, and now we're going to shift our idea of creating tiddly tables to actually creating tiddlers themselves. So I'm taking back to design right. I'm going to close a bunch of uh, tiddlers. We'll start home again. It's to where we are today, and we're looking at this new exercise, import tiddlers from CSV. This is definitely for those more adventurous, okay? It relies on the spreadsheet template, the same one that we were working with a few minutes ago in the spreadsheet is wiki models exercise so if you've already got that template filled out with your own dimensions great if you haven't go back and do that exercise first okay i'm going to take you back to that to that spreadsheet and here we're going to use a separate second sheet the one called tiddlers and this is different right so here we have columns one called title one called tags one called text and one called ing url image url okay and so what I've done is I've go ahead and I've gone ahead and created these are going to become tiddlers in a minute. You'll see um, the title of each tiddler is one of the cells that's in this tiddly table sheet. So this is a tiddler, this is a tiddler, this is a tiddler. Um, each of the row headings becomes a tiddler. Each of the I'm sorry, each of the row headings is a tiddler, each of the column headings is a tiddler, and then there's a tiddler for each of the 16 objects, okay? So if you think about these orange are color tiddlers, these green are object tiddlers, and these, six, I'm sorry, these green are object type tiddlers, and then these 16 are object tiddlers. I think I should just change this to object And that'll work. Okay, so what we've got over here then is the names of the tiddlers, the dimensions we just talked about, color tiddlers, object type, the four colors, and the four objects. Okay, and then for each of these tiddlers, we want to tag it. So we're going to tag the tiddler called dimensions to tiddly table exercise. We're going to call tag the tiddler that's going to be called color to dimension. Same with object type to dimension. We're going to tag red, blue, yellow, green, and yellow to color. We're going to take tag flower, truck, house, and ball to object type. And then we're going to tag each of the 16 objects, red flower, blue flower, etc., to both their color value and their object value. In this case, red and flower, blue and flower, green and flower, yellow and flower. Okay. Um, over here in the image URL, I went ahead and in a couple a little earlier video I showed you how to do this um, where did I go tutorial right here serving images from Dropbox tells you how to make these images so you can go ahead and grab that video um, I'm over here I went ahead and created an image for each of these red flower blue flower green flower greenhouse blue house etc saved it in my Dropbox shared the image changed the URL and then I wrote this little formula over here that's going to get pasted in as the text value of these tiddlers once we create them. Okay, and um, the text value of these dimension and color and object type tiddlers is simply the, the name of their tag. And for these, it's going to call the image. And you don't really need to get what's happening in C in terms of this code right now. What you really want to understand from here is that we're going to create a tiddler from this file. And the tiddlers that we're going to create, in fact, we're going to create 27 tiddlers, all 28 rows, less the title row, the header row. 27 tiddlers with these titles. Each of the tiddlers is going to have these, the tags associated in the same row, right? So something like that. And the tiddlers are going to have this text value. And the tiddlers are going to have a field called image URL with this value in it. Okay. So back on the directions, you've, you've kind of created that. Let me get back to where we were. Um, we just talked about step one. Step two, we're going to, in Google Sheets, we're going to do a file, download to CSV, and then open the downloaded text file in a text editor. Um, see, I've got my text editor open, and I'm going to quit it so that we can be sure we're doing it the right way. So we're going to come here, Google Spreadsheet, File, download as comma separated values current sheet. Make sure you're on the tiddler sheet. Download this as a comma separated values current sheet. 
gives me the dialog box. I'm going to open it with my default text editor. And this is what it looks like. Whoa, these are what are called comma separated values. Again, you don't really need to look at them real carefully right now. Um, I'm going to select all and copy. I think it says that. Select all in the text editor. I guess it doesn't say copy. I should say copy. And using the CSV to JSON converter tool, which is here, another external tool, and it tells you how to use this. You um, paste the contents in the input box, scroll down to select CSV to JSON, and scroll down further to download. So I'll show you what we mean by that. Um, select your input. Here's the input box. Paste. Okay, I can do CSV to JSON, okay, and download the result and save it. I'm going to save it in my Dropbox, um, and we'll call this, um, this is called import from CSV.json. Okay, notice it's .json, kind of remember where you put it. You don't really need to put it in your Dropbox, but you might as well. Um, okay. Looks good. It's a little scary. Um, clicking on the import tool. If you don't have the import tool out, it's under this thing. It's got the import. It's a little paper clip. Click on the import tool. It says, you know, navigate to where it was. We just call this import from csv.json and click open. And boom. All of these tiddlers are now going to be ready to import. Let's import them. Okay. They're there. Close this. Close this. Very exciting. Where's our results? Ah, oh, there's nothing here. Actually, we created them in tiddly tables. Okay. So let's look and see what we did. Okay. So now, first of all, these are my beautiful images. Red flower, blue flower, green flower, yellow flower, yellow truck. It looks like I mixed up my green and no, it looks like I might have mixed up my greens and my yellows. It does. <laughs> oh well. I'm a little colorblind, I guess, but you know, you get the point, right? So, and we could fix that, but it does clearly look like, like I mixed up my greens and my yellows. Um, so I will fix that by the time you get this. It'll, it might look a little different. But real, the power and the interesting stuff is really when you enter one of these 16 object tiddlers. Here's the picture. Where can we navigate to? We can navigate to a red flower. We can navigate to a blue flower. We can navigate to a blue, a red flower, sorry, or to a red truck or a red ball or a blue green ball. That's yellow, isn't it? Um, I'll have to fix the yellow and green. But the idea here again is that we've created this navigational tool that lets us organize these 16 object tiddlers in this kind of in these three tables and allows us to navigate across them. So this will look a little different so I'm going to improve a couple of things. Um, let me go back to here and um, again select all and copy and come back to my tiddly tables and select all and paste. Oops, I forgot to convert it. Convert spreadsheet to tidly tables. Translate. Select all. I do that all the time. And paste. And let's see if we got any better here. So now we've got these, these are now tags up here, which, which we had talked about before. So you can navigate across the row. It looks like my green and yellow are still mixed up. So I will figure that out. By the time you see this, it will look slightly different. Okay, so I hope that helps you, and I look forward to seeing your results. In a day or so, I will add a, a permalink. In the meantime, if you've got questions or comments or thoughts or, or it's not working, um, use the Google group, and I will start a thread for that as well. Thanks.